I am going to show you something which I use, which I think is a complete game changer when it comes to your skincare. We're back with another educational beauty video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the correct order of skincare before you apply makeup. I feel like this is something that really kind of sets the tone for your makeup so I really wanted to go through with you exactly how you apply it and which order is the correct way to apply it and why. So if you do like this video please do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos and if you want to catch some unboxing of press boxes, just makeup in general and just what I get up to when I'm not filming for YouTube then you can head over and follow me on Instagram too. Now I think we can get started with the video. So this is something I feel like everyone needs to know and it's such an important part of applying makeup. It's actually your skincare. So the correct order of applying skincare before applying makeup, it makes all the difference. It really does completely change the way your makeup applies onto the skin, how it actually blends and also how it sets and how it overall kind of looks at the end of it. So it really does make your skin look better or feel and look at its best before you actually start applying makeup. So let's get started. Now the first thing that I have already done, but it's always a little bit messy to kind of show this on camera, is actually cleanse my skin. Now I've used my Wind Oasis Fresh Dissolving Jelly Cleanser. It's actually a, it's, it's a great cleanser. I use this not every single day, but I use it when I feel that my skin is kind of needing that extra comfort. Just a bit of looking after because maybe it's feeling a little bit tired. It's feeling like, you know, maybe I put makeup on every day for the last few days and it's a little bit kind of just a bit stingy, you know, and, and this is a really great jelly cleanser which is very soothing on the skin so it's a ph balanced cleanser and it kind of like goes on like a jelly and it lathers up when you apply water and it just feels so good on the skin what i do love about it is it is a cleanser which is packed with vitamin c niacinamide which i absolutely love that ingredient literally is the holy grail of smooth skin that cleanser is something that i use mainly in the mornings i would say because i feel like it just gives me that fresh feeling on my skin now once i've kind of used this jelly cleanser which by the way i would recommend to everyone because your skin doesn't actually feel tight after using it and i hate that feeling after using like after washing your face it doesn't feel tight it doesn't strip your skin of any moisture so it's very gentle on your skin so it's a great cleanser I think for all skin types next what we do is we apply well obviously you let your face dry because <laughs> you want that to kind of dry up as well now my first my next thing that I usually do is kind of like apply my lip product now this genuinely is the best lip product whatever you want to call it that i have ever used it's my dior lip maximizer and it has hyaluronic acid in there it's very kind of hydrating for the skin i feel like it's a no fuss lip lip product like there are a lot of lip products out there but i feel like this one in particular well firstly can i just say i've been using it for years like i'd say at least five years for five years it feels like that long anyway it genuinely is such a great product because i like the 001 shade was because it's clear it has no color in there but it almost has this like very natural fleshy tone undertone to it and on its own i feel like it's a great gloss so you don't actually need to go for something which is separate as a gloss this can do the job for you but it also is the one product that doesn't irritate my skin my skin doesn't get too used to so then it doesn't stop working you know that horrible feeling when you find something great and also i like like blotting it and just applying lip liner and leaving it as it is like literally that is my lip combo most days now once I've applied that the reason I apply this at this stage by the way is so that it gets to work you know so I'm thinking about the order of, of what I'm applying like do I want to apply this last when really I might blot it and then it doesn't really you know too much of the product isn't really sitting there for long enough to be able to work on my skin so I apply it right at the beginning because by the time it gets to actually doing my lips it's literally the perfect amount of gloss left left there my skin has absorbed all that kind of moisture and it's left with excess moisture which is great because I still want that kind of like really nice glowing look on my lips so that's the reason I do my lips first now next what I do is I apply my eye cream the reason I apply my eye cream next is because the skin around the eye area is the most delicate than anywhere else on your body and I don't really like to I really think about where I'm applying my products like I don't want to apply my serum and then it kind of goes towards my eyes and then I apply my eye cream and it's kind of mixed in with the serum like I really want to make sure I am 
targeting those areas cor correctly. So I want to make sure that when I'm applying my eye cream, I'm really focusing on that area and it's not mixing with any other products. So that's another reason I apply it then. Now the product I use is my Drunk Elephant and it is the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. You guys know I use this all the time and I literally just go in. So I've kind of like rubbed it tool in my fingers and then I go around the contour of the eye and I basically just start kind of pressing it in I'm making sure it's all the way around I always find this part really soothing you know just generally applying skincare I, I really do find it so soothing and I guess it's because my skin is so kind of it's just ready for all that moisture. Now, next up, I'm using something which I absolutely love. This stuff has been a complete game changer for my skin. It is the Lancer Triple Peptide Drops with Vitamin E and Niacinamide. This stuff is amazing. You know, I've talked about it in other videos. Like, you can mix a couple of drops into your moisturizer or you can use it on its own before moisturizer. Now, it's a little kind of dropper bottle like that. And basically, I just put one drop. It says one to two drops, but honestly, I think one drop is more than enough for my skin. And I basically just press this in. Now, even though my skin is prone to breakouts, that's kind of mainly because of wearing makeup, you know? And the thing is, I can't stop wearing makeup. It is my job. I do love it. So, you know, it's just a sacrifice I, I've had to make. But ultimately, at the same time, my skin, even though I get breakouts, you'd think that's down to just oiliness of the skin. It isn't really. I don't really have oily skin. Like I do actually have quite dehydrated skin. So it's very difficult for me to find the right type of skincare that works on my skin, which is dehydrated, but also kind of prone to breakouts, if that makes sense. So I have quite thick skin and majority of the time I am not sensitive to products. I can sometimes here and there end up getting a little bit sensitive to certain products, but you know, most of the time I'm my skin's pretty tough in that sense. These products in general, what I'm showing you are all products that are great for soothing the skin and great for breakouts, but also great at giving you that moisture. It's a really tough kind of issue to solve and a, a, a difficult skin battle to face, basically, because you've, you've kind of got breakouts. Your skin's not oily though. It's kind of dehydrated, but at the same time, you don't want to pack loads of moisture on and then just make it super oily, if that makes sense. So it is difficult to deal with, but I do feel that these products in particular have worked great on my skin. And obviously it all starts with your face wash as well. So it starts with that because that kind of preps your skin for your skincare and then your skincare is prepping your skin for your makeup after i've applied my lancer peptide drops i kind of let that sink in and it has this very very subtle tacky feeling now once i've applied that i then move on to my moisturizer my moisturizer is my wind marrakesh rich this i just literally take a little bit of my hand and i apply this so i basically just apply this here and I press it in. And this moisturizer is amazing, guys. Honestly, it's one of the best moisturizers I've used because I feel like it gives me the moisturizer. And you know what, funnily enough, I thought this would be a bit too rich for me because it's Marrakesh rich, but it's perfect for me. Like it isn't, oh, it doesn't make your skin feel greasy. It doesn't like, I don't break out with it. I don't feel like it's just overloaded my skin. Even though it's Mar it's rich, it's not it doesn't feel rich, if that makes sense. I am gonna show you something which I use, which I think is a complete game changer when it comes to your skincare. Now, SPF and primer are separate, but this product is all in one. Now, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer. It's smoother looking skin and daily defense. It's SPF. 50, which is amazing. Now, I love the fact that it's a primer and SPF in one because honestly, if I don't have to apply as many layers, that is that is like the best news to me. It's like music to my ears because if I can avoid having to use layers, that's amazing. But yet it's still giving me the protection and doing the job that I would get if I were to use each layer separately. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna apply this onto my skin and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this. So it's kind of a, almost like, like a kind of it just looks like a thick cream but it's it's very good I, I just feel like it's it's really good because it is your SPF and your moisturizer sorry your primer so I just smoothed this over now it really does help with the, the appearance of large pores which is another thing that I like now because I've applied this I feel like I'm not really overloading my skin with unnecessary kind of products like it's not feeling gunky I feel like I've got that moisture there but at the same time now I can also feel that my makeup is going to apply really smoothly now I wanted to very quickly show you something which is almost like a bonus skincare product because I know that it isn't something that everyone would include part of their skincare, whereas everything that I've currently shown you is kind of like what 
the average person would use. Like you'd use a lip product, an eye cream, a skin treatment or serum, a moisturizer and a primer and SPF, or, you know, at least most of them. Now I know that not everyone will end up then applying something else to the skin right after you've applied your primer and everything, you go straight into makeup. I wanted to show you something that I kind of feel is something that you would love and also great if you have like very dehydrated skin. So this is the Wind Oasis Veil and you've seen me use this before. It's one of my favorite face mists. Now it's basically a serum in a bottle. So it's a spray and it gives you that extra hydration and it's got vitamin C. So it really does give you that kind of on the go hydration. Now this is something that you can use while you're out and about. You can actually use it on top of makeup and it really does give you the really, really nice kind of like healthy glowing skin look. But you can also use this before your makeup. So this is something that I like to apply after my primer. If I feel like my skin is a bit more dry than usual, more dry than usual. It's, it's basically, I, I feel like even after everything that I've applied, I feel like I could do with a little bit of moisture. But obviously I can't rewind and, and take my primer off, take my SPF off, off, and then go in and like apply more moisturizer. So it's really difficult because you don't want to also ruin, you don't want to disturb the layers. You don't want to disturb everything that you've already applied. So what I tend to do then is I go in with this and I basically spray this onto my face. So I basically just, there you go. And it doesn't even like, it doesn't make you look all like wet or anything, but it is a really, really good spray. I don't know why my voice is going. It's something that I kind of jump to if I know that I've applied all my skincare and everything's great, but I kind of wish I applied my mo more moisturizer or a bit more of my serum to give me that hydration. So if I get, if I'm stuck in that rut after applying all of my skincare, then that's when I go to this and I apply this because I know that that's gonna give me that instant hydration and it's also gonna to kind of look after my skin and not disturb any of my skincare underneath. What I also want to do is just apply a very light skin tint because I want to show you how that kind of looks on the skin after applying our skincare. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my brush. I'm actually using my Sigma F47 brush and my Summer Friday Sheer Skin Tint. And this shade is shade five. It's, I'm actually really loving this. It's great for when you don't actually want to apply a lot of makeup and you just want, you know, you've got a day where you just, well, don't wanna apply any makeup. Maybe you're just like, you still want that little tiny, tiny bit of like kind of even skin tone. So, okay, now I can, now I can feel like when I'm putting my makeup on, like I feel like it's easy, you know? It's gliding on my skin. It doesn't feel like it's difficult. This is a really great skin tint. So I feel like everything's kind of like going on smoothly and I don't feel like it's disturbing my skincare. I feel like my skincare isn't kind of like rubbing off while I'm applying this. So it's a great product to use, but ultimately what helps it is the skincare underneath. That's so much easier. And now when I wanna go in with concealer and things like that, I feel like I can kind of get in there without feeling like it's kind of like too fluid underneath and it's set the tone. It's given me that really nice, smooth, even base. Now the whole point of applying your skincare in the correct order is so that each skincare product you use actually works on the area it's meant to be used on. And also it's not kind of mixing in with other products which then end up changing the formula slightly. And also possibly being a little bit too heavy for the area that that particular product is meant for. Another thing you wanna remember is by applying your skincare in the correct order is actually helping your skin to be at its best for makeup application. Now, before I applied any of my skincare, my skin is very textured. I have pitted skin. I have slight acne scarring and it's not very even, right? So it's not very smooth. So it's it's like I there's tiny like kind of like bumps along my skin, especially around the, these areas here. And what happens is if I don't apply skincare, if I don't apply it correctly, it becomes very obvious through makeup. This way, I've kind of like, I'm, I'm kind of like slowly applying a film along. Each layer is doing its job to look after my skin and hydrate my skin and kind of like just give it the moisture it needs and give it everything that it needs and also create a barrier between your skin and your makeup, you know? So it, it's also like kind of looking after your skin and it's like that protective layer as well. So as well as it, the, the fact that it's kind of doing what it needs to do for your skin, it's also helping your makeup to kind of like stay a little bit separate, but also giving it like like almost like a, you're creating the perfect base for that makeup to go on. So hopefully all of that has been really clear for you guys and you now understand the correct way to apply skincare before makeup. Now, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have the best day ever.
I really do hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope it cleared up any questions that you have about skincare and how you apply it and the correct order of applying it before you apply your makeup. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.